Canada, the Netherlands, and Australia are the latest countries to report cases of the new Omicron variant. Israel and Morocco announced strict new flight restrictions after South Africa announced the new variant appears to be spreading throughout the region. Here's CBS 13's Bradley Blackburn. With nations racing to contain the new COVID variant, the U.S. plans to ban travel from South Africa and seven other countries in the region starting Monday. On Sunday, President Biden was asked if travel bans on Europe or any other countries might follow. I'm having a meeting with my medical team as I get back to the White House. I'll have more to say. The World Health Organization, which gave Omicron its name, cautions against travel restrictions until the variant is better understood. It's going to give us a period of time to enhance our preparedness. At this early stage, Omicron brings many unknowns, including whether it causes more severe disease and its potential impact on how well vaccines will work. People who have looked closely at this sequence. Those individuals feel reasonably confident that three doses of vaccine is going to be protective. Now, that could give a really strong impetus to trying to get more people boosted. Another big question whether Omicron is more contagious than the now predominant Delta variant. We do think it's more contagious when you look at how rapidly it's spread through multiple districts in South Africa. It has the uh, earmarks, therefore, of being particularly likely to spread from one person to another. The CDC is setting up a surveillance system for Omicron and says if the new variant, emerges in the U.S., it expects to identify it quickly.